Welcome to this video about quantum field theory. In the world of physics, quantum field theory is a fundamental framework that describes the behavior of the universe at its most basic level. It combines the principles of quantum mechanics and special relativity to provide a deep understanding of the particles and forces that make up our world. In this video, we'll explore the key concepts of quantum field theory, from virtual particles to the Higgs boson, and discover how this theory has revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the fascinating world of quantum field theory. Quantum field theory explained. 137 Zine and at GMAIL.com make an introduction on a video that talks about quantum. Quantum field theory is a fundamental framework of modern physics that describes the behavior of particles and forces at the most fundamental level of the universe. At its core, it combines the principles of quantum mechanics and special relativity to create a theory that is consistent with both. In quantum field theory, particles are seen as excitations of quantum fields that permeate all of space and time. These fields are not static, but rather are dynamic and constantly changing. According to the theory, particles interact by exchanging other particles or virtual particles, which are fluctuations in the quantum fields. The concept of virtual particles is central to quantum field theory. These particles are not directly observable, but are instead inferred through their interactions with other particles. They can be thought of as temporary disturbances in the underlying quantum fields that mediate the interactions between particles. One of the most famous predictions of quantum field theory is the existence of the Higgs boson, which was discovered by the Large Hadron Collider in 2012. The Higgs boson is an elementary particle that is responsible for giving other particles mass. Overall, quantum field theory has proven to be an incredibly successful framework for describing the behavior of particles and forces at the most fundamental level. It has led to many groundbreaking discoveries and has helped us to understand the universe in ways that were previously unimaginable. Quantum field theory is a branch of theoretical physics that attempts to describe the behavior of subatomic particles, such as electrons and photons, in terms of quantum mechanics and special relativity. It is one of the most fundamental theories in modern physics, and has many applications in areas such as particle physics, condensed matter physics, and cosmology. In this answer, I will explain some key aspects of quantum field theory, including its mathematical formalism, its physical interpretation, and some of its important predictions. Mathematical formalism at its core, quantum field theory is a way of describing the behavior of particles in terms of fields that permeate all of space and time. These fields are typically represented by mathematical objects called field operators, which are defined in terms of the position and momentum of the particles they describe. The behavior of these fields is governed by a set of equations known as the quantum field equations, which are similar in form to the classical field equations of electromagnetism or gravity. One of the key features of quantum field theory is that it is a quantum theory, which means that it incorporates the principles of quantum mechanics. In particular, the field operators in quantum field theory are quantized, meaning that they can only take on certain discrete values that correspond to the energy levels of the particles they describe. This quantization leads to many of the peculiar and counterintuitive aspects of quantum mechanics, such as the uncertainty principle and wave-particle duality. Physical interpretation The physical interpretation of quantum field theory is that particles are excitations of the underlying fields. For example, an electron can be thought of as a bump or ripple in the electron field, while a photon can be thought of as a wave or oscillation in the electromagnetic field. In this picture, particles are not discrete objects with well-defined properties like position and momentum, but rather are fluctuations in the fields that give rise to their behavior. One consequence of this interpretation is that particles are not conserved in the same way that they are in classical mechanics. Instead, particles can be created or destroyed through interactions between the fields. For example, two photons can collide and create an electron-positron pair, or an electron and a positron can annihilate and create two photons. These processes are governed by the rules of quantum mechanics, and are described in terms of probabilities rather than definite outcomes. Important predictions Quantum field theory has made many important predictions about the behavior of subatomic particles, some of which have been confirmed experimentally. One of the most famous predictions of quantum field theory is the existence of the Higgs boson, a particle that is responsible for giving other particles mass. The Higgs boson was discovered in 2012 at the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, Switzerland, confirming a key prediction of the theory. Another important prediction of quantum field theory is the existence of antimatter, which is made up of particles that have the opposite charge into the properties of ordinary matter. Antimatter was first predicted by Paul Dirac in the 1920s, and has since been observed in experiments involving particle accelerators and cosmic rays. 
Conclusion Quantum field theory is a powerful and fundamental theory that describes the behavior of subatomic particles in terms of fields that permeate all of space and time. It is a quantum theory, meaning that it incorporates the principles of quantum mechanics, and it has made many important predictions about the behavior of particles that have been confirmed by experiment. While the mathematics of quantum field theory can be quite complex, its physical interpretation is intuitive and provides a deep understanding of the behavior of the subatomic world. Quantum field theory QFT, is a mathematical framework that describes the behavior of subatomic particles in terms of fields. In QFT, particles are seen as excitations of underlying fields, and the interactions between particles were described by the exchange of virtual particles. The mathematical formalism of QFT is complex and involves a variety of mathematical tools, including calculus, group theory, and functional analysis. In this answer, I will explain some key mathematical concepts and techniques used in QFT. Field operators and commutation relations in QFT, particles are described as excitations of fields that permeate all of space and time. These fields are represented by mathematical objects called field operators, which are typically denoted by symbols such as dollars phi, x, dollars or dollar c, x, dollars. The value of the field operator at a particular point in space and time represents the amplitude of the corresponding field at that point. One of the key mathematical features of QFT is that these field operators do not commute with each other. Instead, they satisfy a set of commutation relations known as canonical commutation relations. For example, for a scalar field dollars phi x dollars, the canonical commutation relations are given by dollars phi x phi y equals pi x pi y equals zero dollars dollars phi x pi y equals i delta x y dollars y dollars pi x dollars is the momentum conjugate to the field dollars phi x dollars and dollars c d o t c d o t dollars denotes the commutator of the two operators. These commutation relations imply that the position and momentum of a particle cannot be simultaneously measured with arbitrary precision, which is one of the key principles of quantum mechanics. Quantization and creation slash annihilation operators another important mathematical concept in QFT is quantization, which involves expressing the field operators in terms of creation and annihilation operators. These operators describe the creation or destruction of a particle at a particular point in space and time. For example, for a scalar field dollars phi x dollars, the creation and annihilation operators are denoted by dollars a dagger, meth k dollars and dollars a, meth k dollars, respectively, and are defined by dollars phi x equals infrac d3 meth k 2 pi 3 frac 1 sqrt 2 omega meth k left a meth k e x plus a dagger meth k e x right dollars what dollars omega meth k dollars is the frequency of the mode corresponding to wave avatar dollars meth k dollars these creation and annihilation operators satisfy commutation relations of the form dollars a meth k a dagger meth k equals 2 pi 3 delta meth k meth k dollars which implies that the creation and annihilation operators can be thought of as operators that add or remove a particle with momentum dollars meth k dollars Feynman diagrams one of the most important tools in QFT is Feynman diagrams which provide a graphical representation of the mathematical expressions that describe particle interactions each line in the Feynman diagram represents a particle propagator, which describes the motion of a particle between two points in space and time. The vertices of the diagram represent interactions between particles, and are associated with factors that describe the strength of the interaction. Feynman diagrams can be used to calculate the probability amplitudes for various particle interactions, and can be used to predict the results of experiments involving particle accelerators. In particular, Feynman diagrams can be used to calculate the cross-sections for various. The origins of quantum field theory QFT, can be traced back to the late 1920s and early 1930s, when physicists were struggling to reconcile the principles of quantum mechanics with the theory of relativity. The problem was that quantum mechanics described particles as wave-like entities, while relativity described them as point-like objects that followed well-defined trajectories through space and time. This led to a fundamental contradiction, known as the wave-particle duality problem, which could not be resolved using the existing theories. One of the first attempts to reconcile quantum mechanics with relativity was made by the German physicist Werner Heisenberg, who proposed a new mathematical framework for describing the behavior of particles in terms of matrices rather than classical trajectories. 
Heisenberg's matrix mechanics, as it was called, provided a way to calculate the probabilities of different outcomes in quantum mechanical experiments, but it did not provide a clear picture of what was actually happening at the level of the particles themselves. Another approach to the problem was taken by the Austrian physicist Erwin Schrödinger, who proposed a wave equation that described the behavior of particles in terms of a wave function. Schrödinger's equation allowed physicists to make quantitative predictions about the behavior of particles in various situations, but it did not provide a clear physical interpretation of what the wave function actually represented. It was not until the mid-1930s that a new mathematical framework was developed that could reconcile quantum mechanics with relativity. This framework, known as quantum field theory, was developed independently by several physicists, including Paul Dirac, Eugene Widner, and Werner Heisenberg. Dirac's work was particularly important in the development of QFT. In 1928, he proposed a relativistic wave equation for the electron, known as the Dirac equation, that included the concept of spin. This equation provided a way to describe the behavior of electrons in a relativistic framework, but it also suggested that particles could be thought of as excitations of underlying fields that permeate all of space and time. This was a radical departure from the classical picture of particles as point-like objects that follow well-defined trajectories through space. Heisenberg also played a key role in the development of QFT. In 1932, he proposed a new way of describing the behavior of particles in terms of quantum fields, which he called matrix mechanics in the field. Heisenberg's approach was based on the idea that particles could be thought of as localized disturbances in the continuous field, and that the behavior of the particles could be described in terms of the interactions between these disturbances. Wittner's work on quantum field theory was focused on the mathematical properties of the field operators that describe the behavior of particles. He developed a set of rules, known as Wittner's rules, for constructing field operators that satisfy certain physical requirements, such as Lorentz invariance and causality. By the mid-1930s, a coherent picture of quantum field theory had begun to emerge, which described particles as excitations of underlying fields that permeate all of space and time. The development of QFT laid the foundation for modern particle physics, and has been used to explain a wide range of phenomena, from the behavior of subatomic particles to the properties of the vacuum itself. Good day.